Hey what's up guys, it's me Mike and today's video tutorial is a cool Christmas wallpaper for you guys to create and have for your own. Um, I created the project files for you guys to use in your video, I mean in your project to create a similar uh, wallpaper just like mine. I included the Santa Claus, the tree, the cool North Pole uh, image and the actual uh, file for this type of font is called the King Things Christmas or something like that. And I included like the uh, the brushes uh, for snowflakes that I uh, that I had in my last video, so you guys can use that as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a um, new new wallpaper size. I usually uh, my wallpaper dimensions are 1440 by 900, but yours may differ. So you know, choose something that's you know appropriate for your screen size. Um, now I didn't. I didn't do anything particular to this, um, so normally I would give it a gradient or something, but I'm not going to do that. Um, sometimes I like to uh, start off, I'm going to go over to my project files and uh, start off from there. So after you download the project files, it should say Christmas wallpaper. It's going to be in a zipped file, so just um, unzip it and extract it somewhere. And you should get this, uh, select this image called wallpaper. So by the way, I'm sorry, go to File, Place, and then you should have your, um, your wallpaper just like this. And it should fit the whole dimensions perfectly, so just press Enter. If not, just resize it until it does. And um, after you've done that, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, uh, go to Image, Adjust. Okay, we can't do that yet. First, go to your Layer Panel. Uh, right click and select rasterize next what we're gonna do is go to image up at the top select adjustments and go to desaturate after your image is desaturated you're gonna press control J on your keyboard to make a copy of that background layer and what we're gonna do is select uh, where is it color dodge so now you get like a brighter uh, image of that back that copy and it kind of it kind of um gives a little highlights to the trees some of them still have uh you know leaves on it but still in the winter time you still have those dead leaves hanging there until they eventually fall off so this is you know um this is all right don't worry about that now the leaves on the ground we're gonna uh cover that up with some artificial snow that we're gonna create in a few minutes so to do that, we're gonna select a new. We're gonna create a new layer. So go into your layers panel, select this little option right next to the trash can, or press Control Shift N to create a new layer, and um, we're gonna name that to Snow. And uh, we're gonna select our brush, and we're gonna make sure it's set to at least 50, and make sure the color is white. I'm gonna start. Uh, make sure the hardness is at zero too, because that actually helps a lot. Now we're just gonna paint around the bottom a little bit, so uh, we have like snow at the bottom. I'm just gonna increase the size of the brush, that way we can cover more. Um, you know, more uh, area. All right. So next, what we're gonna do is create another new layer. So Control Shift N on your keyboard and press OK. And we're going to go back down to about 50 on the diameter. And we're just going to select anywhere on the um, the wallpaper just to give it like like highlights of snow that's falling down. So we're just going to click anywhere. Kind of give it like a cool highlights of, of snowflakes. Alright, now we're going to do that same thing again. Control Shift N to create a new layer. And we're gonna go load up our brushes that we've downloaded. Um, it should be the snowflakes in the project file, the snow brushes. So if you don't know what that is, just, um, go over to your brush tool, uh, bring down a brush uh, panel, select that little arrow at the top, go to load brushes, and you want to go over to your project files. You should have a separate folder called project files. Go into the file that says Christmas wallpapers and go into where it says snow brushes and select that. After you're done, select your brush and then continue from there. Now what we're going to do is just uh, kind of... Oops. Okay. What we're going to do first, uh, we're going to actually create 
our brush. So we're going to go over to this little option right here, the little brush preset. And we're going to select uh, shape dynamics. And then we're going to select scattering. Make sure the uh, scatter is up to 1000 and the shape dynamics is all the way up to 100. Now what we're going to do is select the brush tip shape. And we're going to actually increase the spacing to about 100. I have mine to 105, don't worry about that. And we're going to decrease the diameter to about 100. And then what we're going to do is just sprinkle around until we have like snowflakes covering most of this background. We don't want to do too much because it's going to overpower the trees and everything like that. So like a nice sprinkle of snowflakes. So that's pretty good right now. Now we're going to go to File Place. And we're going to select our Santa Claus. You're going to see Santa Claus PSD. Alright, so now we have our Santa Claus. First thing before I do anything, I'm going to uh, make a, over, uh, a really large Santa Claus. And expand it just a little bit. And press OK. So there's our Santa Claus. And what we're going to do, I'm going to my layers panel. And I'm going to select overlay. So, is it overlay or hard light? Let me see. Mess around. Let me go to my uh, other project where I have that Santa Claus. I actually have it set to hard light. Okay, so I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have this one set to hard light, and you're gonna drop the opacity over here to 20. So as you can see, you can still see the Santa Claus, but uh, for this one, I might set it to 30, so you can kind of see it a little bit more. Now we're gonna go back into file and go file place. And then we're going to go select that Santa Claus once more. And we're going to bring it down over. And we're going to resize it so it's a little bit smaller. Alright. A little bit smaller. And that looks perfect. Hit enter. Now next what we're going to do is go to file place again. And back into our projects file. We're going to bring up that north pole. And we're going to bring it. It's kind of large so we're going to have to resize it. And... Once you resize it to the appropriate size that you think will be right for your wallpaper, I'm just going to increase it just a little bit, like that. Then press enter and resize it to, a, you know, it looks reasonable. And I'm going to bring it behind my snow layer. So remember we created that snow layer? I created, I put it behind it so it looks like the snow is overlapping the um, North Pole. Alright, now I'm going to select my text tool and I already have my uh, Christmas font selected. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna type in I'm gonna decrease the size to about 100, and uh, I'm gonna put Merry Christmas. And the font seems really big right now, so I'm gonna go to about 60 or not. Let's try 36. Still a little big, so you have to like I said mess around until you get something good. Now, 30 seems pretty good. Um, we're going to work around with a layer style with this so we can actually see what we're um, doing. So, I'm going to double click on that Merry Christmas layer. I'm going to give it a drop shadow. Then we're going to give it an inner shadow. And we're going to decrease the distance to 0 and leave the uh, size at 5. We're going to give it a stroke and give put the stroke to about 1 and the opacity to about 60. And we're going to give it a gradient now. Now, I included this gradient into the um, project file, so you should have it. It's a, um, a Christmas uh, gradient. Um, let me give you the exact rating. It's called, yeah, it's called Christmas gradient. And um, after you apply these settings, press OK. And uh, you're done. So just uh, rearrange the Christmas uh, text the way you want it. So this looks good right there. And um, you're pretty much done. You have a full-fledged Christmas uh, wallpaper. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. This is brought to you by cmykarts.com. Please visit it where art has no limits. This is me, Mike, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.